BCW's custom leather work provided by Green Man Leather. I'm the lover. My buddy, C.L. Volino, great guy. Look at this man. We wrestled each other. It was a tie. Tie, tie match, remember? No, it wasn't a tie. It was, it, was, it was like a tie. It wasn't a tie. It was like a draw. I just gotta say, I beat your ass once. Don't make me beat your ass again if you mess up the match. If we lose, don't make me, I'm gonna have- No, no I won't mess up. Do anything I don't wanna do. We are, a, you, know what, you know what, we're a team here? After the last show, after the tie, we went out. Yeah. We picked up all the girls. <laughs> How many girls I, did we get? I picked up all the girls. Well, uh, you went home nursing your uh, wounds there, buddy. No, I, I, I had some action. Mm, yeah, you had some action. Okay. We, we got all the girls and we're gonna do the same thing again tonight. Just don't mess up. Victory Wrestling Showcase. It's been a heck of a show, and here we're gonna have one heck of a match, Bengali against the Gollum. I am looking forward to this. The Gollum debuted at our last show, destroying CEO Bellino, and also destroyed a huge widescreen TV. It was completely insane. Here we go, this guy thinks he's a cat for sure. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Herschel Ben Levy, weighing in at 200. Gollum, my God! Look at the size of this guy. And Herschel Ben Levy, I was gonna say, doesn't wasn't smiling. Something's gotta be up if this guy's not smiling, because he's always ear to ear like a Cheshire cat. Always something up his sleeve, Jay Moore. And Hebrew Mania is running wild here at the Super Gallery. Ben Galley and the Gollum. And what a match this is going to be, huh? This is going to be incredible. The Golem is here, and he is in effect. Look at the size of this guy. That's one big dude there. One big dude indeed. And we got one big show for you here today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after these commercials. This is Ben Golly. I mean, I can't get the visions out of my head of him smashing that flat screen on Elise Palace. Right next to us, watch. That was crazy. Wow, there's a woman out here in the audience that just got hit with that chain. And Bengali's playing with the chain too. Come on, this guy thinks he's a cat. This Bengali's a real idiot. I know it's Christopher Bishop under that mask. It is not it Christopher is. Bishop under the mask. What is he wearing around his waist? Every time this guy comes out, he looks like a different mishmash. He's crazy looking, this Bengali. Looks like he is from the alley. Whoa, wow, the Gollum. He's scared. He's a scared cat in the corner, Hutch. He can't get the job done here tonight against. Go look at this. What's he doing? This Give is me ridiculous. A break. This is ridiculous. Oh, the golem seriously confused here. Rolling around the ring like an idiot. Test the strength with the golem. I wouldn't want to screw around with this guy. Look at the size of the golem. What's he doing? Whoa, 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 what is it? Clawing him? Scratch him? Clawing him? I'm, I'm, you're just gonna, ah, yeah, you go. that's it. That's it, you're just gonna make him mad. Oh, look at Herschel, he's he's proud of himself, isn't he? Oh, on onto the floor now. I chase it, Herschel, let me around. Running around the ring, this is ridiculous, Hodge. After Herschel, Ben Levy, leave him alone. Now, crowd fully behind Bengali here, but I think we're all a bit confused. Uh oh Whoa, right into the slam. Walks right into a big power slam, big body slam there. 
Oh, this is crazy here tonight. Oh, Bengali's been at BCW all year, but oh, he's only had one or two wins, had a few losses too, so he's definitely looking to get a victory over the Golem. But the Golem, this is only his second match here. He's undefeated. Oh, and look at this man. So impressive. I think he's impressive. still gonna be undefeated after this match because Bengali's in big trouble, just eats an elbow. Kicks him into the, into the side of the ribs there, and like he, this guy's hurt. Bengali's hurt. <laughs> oh, big forearm to that chest. Keep it up to the midsection. Bengali falls right flat to the ground. Well, this has been a very slow, methodical match here. The Golem taking his time, measuring Bengali. And you notice Bengali's boots. The same exact style as Christopher Bishop used to wear. Taped up with the shit. I am not even going to acknowledge these statements. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. If that was Christopher Bishop, he'd probably be doing a bit better. Well, it has to be this. Where is Bishop? Bill, you know Christopher answers. Bishop has serious bone spurs in his neck and is not medically cleared to wrestle probably for quite a few months thanks to former champion here, Nick Watts. Look at this! Ducks under a clothesline, Bengali gets it's caught! some action, but the Golem, like it's nothing. It's over. Ripping oh. at the mask! Claw the eyes. Oh, Vegas Seguri! And he won't go down. Look at that, Jay, still on his feet. He's a monster, Hutch. An absolute monster. Up to the top rope, the Bengali, the what's gonna happen here? Up to the top, right up to the top. Here comes Bengali! Oh. Oh, go. Double knee off the top! And it could be over here! And that's gonna one. knock him down! No! Only a one count! Now, Jay, that was the first time the Golem has ever been knocked off his feet here at BCW. Congratulations, Bengali! Now do it again, son! Do it again! And toss out onto the floor, and Bengali's in big trouble out on that floor, right in front of Herschel Ben Levy. Hebrew Mania running wild here tonight. Uh, Hebrew Mania shirts available here at our merch area. I don't know who's making the money off that. Goliath, Allen, Herschel, give me a break. Well, let them. I mean, he's the open weight champion, for God's sakes. So just because he's champion, he can start coming out with all this merch, whatever he wants, without any approval? I've never heard of this. Any approval? What, does he need your approval? Uh, he needs so. our <laughs> approval in some fashion. I don't think these Hebrew Mania shirts were what, approved. What, he's gonna ask Coach Henry's if he can sell his shirt? What are you, an idiot? Oh. Big gut wrench slam and with ease from the Golem, the power of this man. Look at him, big stretch here, octopus style. I don't know. What would you call this? Cruelty to animals? What a move that is. <laughs> you can definitely call it cruelty to animals. You know, Bengali building a solid relationship with Barricade backstage. I don't know if you've noticed this. Yeah, that's great. Barricade's new singlet and mask given to him by Bengali. Well, they just had a match not too long ago, wow. and all of a sudden they're friends. Big cast Stupid. I think, I think that the gift was an act of solidarity because they were going to have a match. And Golly going up, I'm not going to answer your, your stupid nonsense. You don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. Here we go, top rope again. Could be a second time on his back, the Golem. No. Uh oh, gets caught this time. This but time. Well, what's you off it? That double knee did not work the second time. And what's happening here? Oh, wow, oh, just, just right to the ground. That was not pretty. Surprisingly, Ben Golly back up to his feet. Oh, big heart punch. Well, a punch it, right to the it. heart. Cover him right here. It's over. Oh, it is over. Here is your winner, the Golem. Uh, the Golem with an extremely definitive victory here over Bengali, absolutely destroying the man. Whoa! Oh, whoa. Wow! What's going on? Oh no! Herschel's trying to get the out. Golem excited. He's trying to get the Golem excited. Look how happy he is. Look at this piece of crap. Whoa, whoa, it's Barricade! What's he doing Barricade out here? Barricade is here! What's he doing out here? Barricade is here to help out! Barricade coming out to help Big Golly! This is great! Here we go, here we go! Oh, come on, Herschel! Herschel getting the Golem to leave the ring here! And Barricade helping out his friend Bengali. There we go. The 
Gallia Barricade. Friends to the end here, it's nice to see. I can't believe this, Hutch. I just cannot believe that our new president, Billy Bradley, lets this stuff happen. Yes, Barricade's well, out here, Ben Gallia's out here. Well, you know what? For the very short period of time that William Matthew Bradley has been our president, I think he's doing a bang up job. He's had his hands full too, let me tell you. And as Barricade and Bengali leave the ringside area, he's gonna have his hands full with our next segment. Nick Watts supposedly wants to have a word with the crowd and everybody here. I'm sure it's about how he should be the number one contender and he got screwed at the Rumble and all this stuff. It's gonna be extremely tedious, I'm sure. And look at him, Hutch, in his running shoes, in his jogging pants, setting up chairs. This is not the Nick Watson I know. It's something's off. Look at this guy. Well, he certainly looks like he has something on his mind, and he does not look well, ready you know, to compete he here. He is a former Oakland champion, and I don't think he's too happy that Goliath L is running around town with that championship. Oh, this is definitely not the Nick Watts I know, Hodge. Um, Hello? Kidding I'm me? not going to uh, take up too much time, but I do want to uh, let you guys know why I'm not why I'm not wrestling, why I'm not in my gear. I have my t-shirt on, but that's about it. About 11 years ago, I started my career, and, uh, well... I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, there was a time in 2006 when I got into a car accident and in 2008 I took some time off. And uh, honestly, I tried to get bookings everywhere but uh, this company, VCW, was the only one, the only one that gave me a shot. And I'm not gonna lie to anybody, uh, Nobody thought that I would ever win the VCW title. And, well, I thank you for those who did. It was uh, the highlight of my career. I'm, I'm grateful and... Wow, this, this is odd. What is going on with Nick Watts here? <laughs> you know, before I get too emotional, uh, can, we, can, we get, can we hit Buck's, Buck's music? Get Buck Gunderson out here, please. Buck Gunderson? Buck Gunderson. Well, these are the two guys I know who are considered to be the number one contenders right now, and it's a bit of a hash on over who is going to be the next number one contender. Buck's not in his gear either. He's not scheduled to wrestle today. Nick Watts was, but looks like he's not ready. Both of these two men currently uh, uh, jousting with the management and uh, the board of directors here over who should be number one contender, but Nick Watts, something is definitely up with Nick, and he has called out Buck Gunderson, a former Openweight Champion in his own right. Hey man, uh, I just want to say it right now, uh, winning the BCW title was something major, and uh, I didn't hold it, I didn't have it for very long, but uh, you did something that not too many people have ever been able to do. Not, it's not just beat me, but you made me tap out. That chicken wing you got, true. it's a dangerous, dangerous hold, man. But uh, honestly, I think it was kind of cowardly of Goliath Allah the way he won that title. I mean, I think he's a little bit of a chump, really, but uh, if anybody, anybody, if anybody deserves that title, it's Buck Gunderson. What? Nick Watts, what's going on I think here? Right now, honestly, you made me tap. You were the man. You're the real champ, man. Honest to God, bro. That's some gentleman like Wow, that uh, that's I can't believe what I'm seeing. Fuck! 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 Wow. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, but I, I gotta say, that's a uh, Nick Watts being a big man here. What? What was that? What is yes. this? Yes. Nick Watts! Hit him again! Hit him again, Watts! Attacking Buck Gunnison like a scoundrel! He deserves it! Yeah, Buck fighting back! Big headbutt from the former Open Weight Champion! These two guys throw it fists! 
Wow! Oh, right into the ring post, though. Buck blocks it. And they're going right out all over the super gallery here. What's going on over there? Our cameramen are in trouble. They're going right over to the merchandise section. These guys are fighting all through the crowd. And Buck Anderson with a headbutt. Come on, referee. Break Buck it up. There we go. What's he doing over by the Amigos table? That's our pizza sponsor. Oh! Oh! What the hell? What the hell is a spine master? Yes! Yes! What the hell's going on out there? Ah, he's eating him with pizza now! Come on! That's no Amigos matter, Pizza's our sponsor! This is how you thank Buck Gunderson! Thank you, Buck, for the Give opportunity! Give me a break! What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta be out of your mind! That was crazy! I love what it! What the hell? I love it! We gotta get some authority out here! There we go! This ain't the end! This is only the beginning! Oh, yeah. It's all a bunch of crap! Yes! What a bunch of crap! Absolutely, Nick Watts! You're the man, Nick Watts! Billy Bradley, you look like an idiot again! <laughs> I love it, Hutch! Thank you, Buck, for the opportunity! That was great! Oh, come on! Let's get some medical attention over here for Buck Gunderson! Give me a break! And what about the pizza? There's no pizza Look at now! This idiot. Look at him! What are you mad what are you, about? What do you mean I'm mad about? <laughs> Sit down! This That's idiot. our table! You know what? Nick Watts wants to thank Buck Gunderson for the opportunity. Hey, he got it right here tonight. Oh, please. Thank you, Buck Gunderson. What kind of opportunity is that? <laughs> well, I guarantee you, Nick I Watts has it. basically ruined his shot at the I number one it. contendership. <laughs> You love it, what a bunch of crap. You know what, we'll be back after these commercials with maybe some matches and some actual action instead of this garbage. Spin the wheel with rage. Look at this thing spin. Welcome back to Victory Wrestling Showcase for our brand new segment called Spin the Wheel with Rage. And you're with your truly, the supernova superstars, Rob Rage, and hopefully your luck will be a whole lot better than mine because on June 30th at the Super Wonder Gallery, very apropos by the way, because you're with the Supernova Superstars, I gotta waste my time defending my title along with my partner, the Soviet Suplex Machine, and we gotta face the Bearcats. So let's find out what their luck is gonna be on the 30th. You know what? We don't have to spin the wheel because we know what the outcome is gonna be. The Soviet Suplex Machine is gonna suplex them all over the place. The Rage is gonna take the big arm and clothesline their heads off, and they're gonna get their ass kicked. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 420 pounds, C.L. Bellino and Martino, the lover, Casanova! Yeah, baby, we're back here with Victory Wrestling Showcase. What are you talking about? Don't talk to me like that. Latin lover yelling at me for what? For what? I'm infamous J. Moore, are you kidding me? Latin lover with CL Bellino, as I was saying earlier, we're back with Victory Wrestling Showcase. And look at these two. Watch Henry, look at this. It's a joke. It is a joke. Bellino and Latin lover. Latin lover is liking me for no reason. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, we are no longer allowed to call this gentleman the Latin lover. Well, nobody told me that. We got we're... a cease and desist order from the WWE over the name Latin lover. So he's going to go with his real name. This is Martin Casanova, the lover. And of course, that's. Alito. Never mind that, idiot. Who's the blonde in the middle of the ring? And did you hear the response for C.L. Valino? A big fart, a big nothing. <laughs> What's going on here? Casanova trying to convince Valino that they're friends? What a bunch of garbage. And their opponent. I wouldn't be friends with either of these jokers. a combined weight of 455 pounds. The team of Mike Dorosti and Eddie Sapalucci! All right. Here's Eddie Saps. Came to the aid of this man, Mark Dorosti, last time. And now looks like they're tagging up together. This is great. Eddie Sapalucci, let's show you exactly what happened last time as Dorosti took on Anthony Fiasco, and 
The whole thing basically ended in a fiasco. Let's go take a quick look at that. Oh, who's this? What's this? Eddie Saps is there, right? Eddie here. Lucci, I haven't seen him in forever. What's he doing here tonight? I don't know what he's doing here. Was this guy gone from ECW? Did he screw up with Goliath Ayala? The last I time we so. saw him was right here at Lee's Palace in the Brass Knuckles match. Oh, don't ruin the match, Saps. What's wrong with you? What's he doing out here? Well, I know that Eddie Saps and Anthony Fiasco have known each other for years. Uh, I don't know if they're good friends, but I know they go way back. Perhaps he's here on behalf of Fiasco. Oh! Wow, do you see that insecurity to the side of the head? It looks like the mercenary's out, Jay. He looks like he's out cold. Uh, I lost my train of thought. I don't know what Sam's doing out here. Oh, can, just barely out. Can you send somebody to get him to the back? Come on. I do not know why Eddie Saps is at ringside, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. All I care about is this match going on in the ring. That's what I'm paid to do is talk about it, and that's what I'm doing. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, this is one, one hell of a match here tonight. Yeah, for two guys. I mean, one guy we've never seen before, another guy we haven't seen in a while. This is turning into a beast match. Whoa, our Saps, what was he doing up there? Oh, it looks like I was wrong. There doesn't seem to be much of a friendship there. Whoa, what was that? Goes to the cover, is that it? Wow, big shoulder mounted flapjack, and the way. mercenary wins it. The mercenary, Mike the Rusty. Wow, and you can say the mercenary got a win here thanks to Eddie Sapolucci. I can't believe what's going on. This is unbelievable. That's a big, big victory. I'm I got the mic for you. All you got to do is project. You see, tonight, when Eddie Sapolucci and mercenary Mike step into the ring with Valino and the Latin loser, they're gonna find out firsthand why we are the fastest rising tag team in VCW. Hey, don't worry about it. Everyone knows there's always three things in life that's guaranteed. And no, I'm not talking about the death and taxes. I'm talking about Eddie Sapaluch and the mercenary, Mike DeRossi. Look at this, Hodge. I gotta say something right now. I gotta put it on record. I think it's a big mistake for this Jurassic to be teaming up with Sapolucci. We seen him as a failure with Goliath the Ella in the past. He's probably gonna fail again tonight. Hey, you know what? These are two pure blood Italian boys, and I'm sure they got a lot in common. I think and it's I'm a sure big got mistake. A good friendship going on. I think that Eddie Sapolucci should be out of ECW. I think he embarrassed us. He embarrassed Goliath the Ella as a tag team partner. Oh, please, you embarrass me. That's what the embarrassment around here is. Are you is. kidding me? The reason I'm here is to get ratings because you don't know how to do it. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna call it right now. DeRosti and Sapolucci, I bet you they're gonna beat the heck out of Bellino and, well, and Casanova sure. here. I'm sure, I would love to see that. I'm no fan of the lover or C.O. Bellino either. But I'll tell you one thing, you being the dirt sheet reporter that you are, maybe you are right. Oh, I'm the one that knows about the cease and desist on his name. You don't know squat, do you? Yeah, I don't read letters from the WWE. I could care less. Here if I want to call him a Latin lover, Molino that's exactly what I'll call him. Pushing Casanova into the ring. There's certainly, there's no friendship here between these two guys. All right, this is going to be awesome. Matt Gender win. Look at this. What, 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 what if the leaders are going to the floor already? What kind of tag team partner is that? Well, I, I'm supposed to call this idiot Casanova all of a sudden? His name is Martin Casanova. The Martin you, you, Casanova? You, know you can call him the lover still, the lover, fine. But you know what? C.L. Valino's got a pretty big fan base at, at, at VCW, and they didn't react to him today at all when he came out with the lover. Uh, the lover does not have a big fan base here, so this is a bit of a confusing You know why they didn't react there. to him? Why? Because he had that hot blonde in the ring. That's what they were looking at, uh, yeah, I'll tell you probably. that. Well, wow. I don't think, uh, Unbelievable. I don't think that uh, Valino's too happy having a team up with the lover. Whoa, and that's why took over nice and easy by Dorosti. Side headlock applied and, and, and wow. right on the foot. Powering out of the headlock, Dorosti. Whoa, and the mercenary puts the lover down. Oh, drops the leg. Mercenary Mike against Martin the Lover. I think I put my money on the mercenary any day, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Well, a little bit of a... Uh, oh, we got dissension in the ranks of Valido and... Uh, I'm gonna just say it, the Latin Lover, oh, I don't care. Behind. Casanova, double axe handle. Step there in the center. Oh, chinlock applied. And 
I mean, if Casanova had any brains, he'd drive a knee right into the back and stretch that neck right out. That's what he should be doing. Wrestling fans all over the place coming to see me here at the Super Gallery, and I love it, Hutch. Oh, I, love I like it this place. We're doing pretty good here today. Arm ringer here, and the lover in serious trouble. Lots of pain. Reaching out for Galino, and all oh, got drug away. The tag is made of Sapolucci, and let's see what Sapolucci's got. All right to the arm. And that's good. Oh. Tag team continuity there, Jay. That's a team right there. And there's no dissension. That's two guys working together. Nice arm bar here from Eddie Saps, stretching out that bicep. Listen, I don't care if they get along. I don't care what they do in the ring. The bottom line is, who's going to get the three count here tonight? Can Sapolucci do it? I don't know. To me, i got to put it on a record right here on Rogers again. He's a complete failure and a complete loser. Oh, please. Eddie Sapolucci is the only man in that ring right now that has had a VCW title in the past. He's a two-time, two-time VCW tag team champion. Oh, and if you me. take a look, and he's it. the one getting the pinfalls in those matches, friend. Let me tell you. I disagree. He was under the tutelage of Goliath Ayala, Herschel Ben Levy. That was a that was the rise and of uh, Eddie Sapolucci, and now you see the fall. Is that, is that a legal tag there? You can tag a guy on the thigh now? Galino has got a big task ahead of him here with the mercenary Mike DeRosti in the ring. Here we go. Sapolucci wants a piece of Galino. This is gonna be exciting. Oh, what happened there? Oh, wait a minute. DeRosti took a shot from Galino. Wow, and this is a matchup I've been looking for for a while. Eddie Saps against Steel Bellino. These two guys have been clawing their way up the ranks for a while, and it's about time we've seen them in the ring together. Well, Sabalucci tried to set a headlock in there, but it's not working out because Bellino gets out of there, works it in an R bar, and we got a headlock on Sabalucci. Sabalucci sent Bellino off the ropes. Oh! oh wow. Yeah, and Bellino in firm control here. Headlock, shoulder block, he's got it all going on. Nice leapfrog there from Saps. Oh, missing the drop kick. And Valido capitalizing. Going right after the leg here, and that's a great idea. And Valido's still wearing the stunning Steve Austin ring tights from WCW. Oh, He's still wearing them. I think he made those himself. Whoa, drops an elbow on the leg there. Oh, there we go. Wrapping him up. I thought Saps was gonna put him in a Kikina clutch or a first chin lock there, maybe try and put him out, but does not have the leverage to get in. No, Saps has gotta get out of it. He's gotta get out of this. He's in big trouble right now. Oh. Bolito wrapping that leg up, dropping some weight on there. Al Mr. Perfect here. Nice. Right to the hamstrings, gonna knot that sucker up, making so Eddie Sabalucci can't walk across the ring to make a tag. That's, that's how you win a match. Oh, wow. Right to the quadricep muscle. And you can see Eddie Sabalucci is in a heck of a lot of pain. There's the reaction C.L. Bellino was looking for. That's earlier. the reaction you were looking for, wasn't it, Hodge? Me? Yes. I couldn't give two shakes whether or not anybody cheers for C.L. Bellino. But I do care about clean, honest wrestling. And this is a great match we got here today. DeRossi trying to get the fans behind him. What's Valino doing over there? Come on, Valino, you're gonna miss your opportunity here. Saps Wait a minute. Make a tag. Sapolucci trying to get to the corner to tag out. He's trying to get the... I think he's trying Evelino to get the, catches uh, the turnbuckle pad off there. Was not successful. Tag is made to Casanova. Casanova make his way in. He's tagging the shoulder, tagging the thigh. He's tagging Valino everywhere but his hand. And that's where it's legal, my friend. That's, Dragging him to the corner. And that's again. what you gotta do. Yeah. Drag Sapolucci into your corner and work him over in your corner. Well, that is definitely true. These two guys who I did not think were gonna work well together. Here's an example of my being wrong. Wow, look at that. They are cutting off the ring like they're the darn brainbusters. What's going on here? Tag is made to Casanova, here comes Casanova. Oh, I can see now from my vantage point, they've pulled down the knee pad. Oh, oh and that was bone on bone, knee on knee. Off 
the second turnbuckle, Casanova driving right into Sass. And there we go, the lover talking crap. Oh, wait a minute now. Here comes Jabrowski, whatever you call him. The mercenary Mike DeRosti certainly not doing his partner any justice here, any favors as he's getting choked out in the corner by Bellino. Come on, Raph! Well, hey, do what you gotta do if the ref is so stupid that he wants to have his back turned. Do what you gotta do. Gotta get do. the mercenary yeah, out. That's a classic James Warline That's his problem. Player. That's his problem. Jeez, you should be on Tommy Boy Records, pal. If it, it ain't cheating if you don't get caught. I am know? on Tommy Boy Records. Thank you for the plug. Thank you. cheating if you don't get caught. In the words of Jesse the Body Ventura, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Sapalucci, he's in a house of pain right now. A whole bunch of it. Well, Sabalucci is a big trouble. I stated earlier in the match that he's the failure of this tag team, and it's proving it's proving to be happening right here. Look well, at that. I will still stand by the fact, there we go, that Sapalucci is the only man, former champion in that ring right now. I don't care if he's a former champion or not, Hutch. If Boots I say he's a failure, Sapalucci. he's a failure. You understand? Oh! oh! Beautiful power slam out of nowhere by C.O. Villino. The sea elbow, finishing move of C.L. Bellino. What was that? Oh, oh. Sachs catches him! What an idiot! Making his way over to the corner for the sea elbow, that flying elbow he loves to put guys away with, but a little too much showboating there from Bellino, and Saps almost rolled him yeah, up. Yeah, and that's what happens when you start yelling your wrestling moves in the middle of a match. Your opponent knows what you're gonna do. Ah, uh, well, Sapalucci would have shut you up pretty quick there if he'd gotten the win, huh? Weak link, my ass. Yeah, well, like I said, he's not gonna get Come the on, win. He's choking him out. Well, Bellino going to the second again. Sapalucci getting to his feet, though. Bellino going right straight to the top, baby. Well, catches him. Ah, nice exploder suplex out of nowhere. That was incredible. Let's take another look at that, Jay. Here we go, off the top ropes, catches him, and Explorer Suplex, that's impressive. And Sapalucci taking out to the Mercenary. Just in time, back to line oh. action, and here's the Mercenary. Drops a clothesline of Valido. Here comes Casanova. He gets one for his troubles, picking Valido up for, oh, a, a big power back. slam. Big, big power slam. What's he got now? Look at this. What? Right on top of Alino. And all hell is broken loose here at the Super Gallery. Oh, I like this DeRosti guy. This I is can't great. believe it. Why doesn't the referee get some control in this match? Well, DeRosti's in firm control and he's got the crowd firmly in his corner. Waiting for Bellino, waiting, waiting. What's going on? Picking him up for a body no, slam. Not again. A big power. Oh. oh. Wow. Big falling flapjack slam there. And just breaking Valido right straight in half. Oh, uh, what's he, he's, 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 they're setting him up for something. These two guys planned something out before the match on how to put away their opponents. This is gonna be great. Well, I don't know how smart that is. I mean, Sapaglucci looks like he has a hurt knee. He's wobbling to get to the top. Can he do it? Oh, wow. A weak attempt of a frog splash, but nonetheless, like a, gets the job done a at a three. Splash. Here are your winners, Mike DeRossi and Eddie Sabaluji. They cheated all the way through the match. Oh, they they were in double teaming for the past five minutes. This referee has to go to the board of directors. With a Somebody's got to do something with a about this. Knee and get beat on for most of the match. Eddie Sabaluji with a tadpole splash off the top with a victory here for his team. And that's it for the lover of Bellino. Who knows what's gonna happen with these two jokers. Well, the lover, Casanova, as you call him, he doesn't seem too happy. He's no, walking he right not. out on Bellino right now. And I wouldn't be happy either. Look at oh, Casanova. Wow, yeah, they are not happy with each other. He's out of here. He's not gonna put up with this crap. Well, hopefully we have seen the end of the tag team of the lover and Bellino. And there's the And look at the this, crowd. the mercenary picking up kids in the front row. Somebody's gotta get this guy out of ECW. 
You can't be doing that, son. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm out of ECW. We're out of here. We'll see you next time on Victory Wrestling Showcase.